Are you looking for the best Nespresso machines? In this video we will look at some of the 4 best Nespresso machines on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at Number 1. Nespresso Virtual Plus. The Nespresso Virtual Plus is user-friendly in every sense of the word and costs just $169 on the low end for Nespresso machines. The Virtual Plus uses easy technology, like all virtual machines, it automatically scans your selected capsule and brews your drink accordingly. That means just one button yields a number of coffee drinks, in 5 or 8 ounces, espresso and double espresso shots, based on the encoded information on each inserted capsule. You choose what type of beverage you would like it to brew when you purchase the capsules, and the machine scans those instructions and automatically brews at the click of a button. During my testing process, I found the machine to be simple and intuitive to use. It produced drinks that tasted just like the coffee brewed by the other seven machines, which is to say, consistency was not compromised in any way, by any of its features. The Virtual Plus was easy to clean, since there's just the water tank to intermittently rinse and the used capsule compartment to dump and rinse when full. Another winning aspect of the Virtual Plus is that the positioning of its generously sized water tank is adjustable, so you can customize placement based on your countertop space, the water tank can sit at the back or on either side of the machine's body. There were two small hitches I noted when testing this model. The first is that, if you haven't used it in over a day, there can be the occasional snag of the last capsule during the automatic ejection process, however, simply prodding the used capsule gently with your finger solves the issue. The other is that, like many of the more affordable Nespresso machines, the Virtual Plus does not come with a milk steaming accessory, which may be a con if you prefer a cappuccino or latte. That said, there are plenty of frothing options available, including the Arachino models from Nespresso. At Number 2. Nespresso Virtuo Next. For fresh espresso without the high price tag, I recommend the Virtuo Next. Available at Amazon for under $150, it includes a streamlined design and functionality that operates pretty similarly to the Virtual Plus. At first, it was slightly difficult to use due to its locktop mechanism, which was more complicated than many of the other models that allow you to simply lift a lever or press a button and insert a pod. However, it was pretty easy to operate once I got the hang of it. As far as capacity and design, I found the relevant main differences between the Virtuo Next and Virtuo, another machine I tested, to be as follows, the Virtuo Next has a slightly smaller water tank, at 37 ounces, than the original Virtuo, at 40 ounces. Of course, this is the difference of only one brewed espresso shot or so, so it hardly bears consideration. My overall winning pick, the Virtuo Plus, has a 40 ounce water tank as well. The Virtuo Next is slightly slimmer than the Virtuo, by a little under 3 inches, note that the Virtuo Plus is the widest of the three models, at 8.7 inches. But if you're looking for a Virtuo series model for a tight countertop, perhaps the Virtuo Next would fit the bill best based on its slimness. The Virtuo Next was released in 2020, whereas the Virtuo was released in 2014, so it has more advanced technology that allows it to brew 5-8 and 14 ounces drink, as well as single and double espresso shots. At Number 3. Nespresso City Z and Milk. My value pick is more expensive than my overall pick, but it's for good reason. The City Z and Milk comes with an integrated Arachino steamer, which makes it a great option for those seeking lattes, cappuccinos and Americanos with hot milk. Unless you're extremely fussy about microphone, in which case, no Nespresso machine is really for you, the Arachino turns out solid, consistent steamed milk, it's not quite mid-dry cappuccino foam, but it gets the job done, especially if you swirl the dryer foam on the top into the hot milk by spinning your wrist around as you get ready to transfer the milk to a mug. Another pro of picking the City ZN milk is that unlike the virtual models that use barcode pods, it uses Nespresso's original pods, giving users the flexibility to pick their own beverage size. You also have the option of using less expensive third-party pods. To brew your Nespresso, fill the removable tank with water, pop your pot in and simply press one of the two programmable buttons to choose between an Espresso or Lungo shot. Meanwhile, fill the attached Arachino steamer and press the button near the base. In terms of aesthetics, the City Z and Milk is compact and perfectly suited for small kitchens. 
And since the Arachino is fitted onto an attached stand, it won't float around your countertop creating clutter the way it would if you just bought a separate frother. Lastly, it's worth noting that Nespresso does sell a version of this machine without the Arachino steamer, but priced at $329, it makes more sense to pay $50 more to get a powerful steamer, which retails for $99. At Number 4. Nespresso Virtuo. For beginners who feel intimidated by the more sophisticated Nespresso designs, I recommend the classic Nespresso Virtuo. Straightforward with a sleek design, it's easy to clean and maintain, which was another plus during testing. It brews four cup sizes, including double espressos and 8-ounce coffee pods. Plus, it can hold up to 13 large capsules in the used capsule container. It features an automatic off mode after just 10 minutes, so don't need to worry whether you turned your machine off after leaving the house. It also has the same cool barcode scanning technology as the Virtual Plus, which makes it very user-friendly. Cons include the special lock top mechanism that is intended to be sleek and hyper useful once you've inserted a capsule, I found it fiddly, and on a day when my hands were stiff, difficult to use similar to the Virtuo Next. In comparison, the lever of the Virtuo Plus was much simpler to operate but using the Virtuo isn't bad for the price, plus it's fairly easy to use once you've figured out the lock top mechanism.